O most gracious and holy Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for each and every one that is listening to me under the sound of my voice. O God, move by your spirit on today's broadcast. Touch the lives of the listeners. Touch each and every one that is listening to me under the sound of my voice, God. Lord, touch the lives of the radio executives, Father. Lord, we pray a special prayer on those people, on those uh, on my behalf, Father, Lord, Lord, we thank you, Father, that those who stand in on the gap for the Arch 3 show, Lord, we thank you, Father, for a special prayer of those uh, radio executives, Father, Lord, we pray, pray a special prayer for uh, those who uh, uh, so graciously um, work um uh, in the radio um, uh, offices, Father Lord, we thank you, Father, for uh, 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 the teams, Father Lord. We thank you, Father, for uh, uh, the radio teams, Father. We thank you, Father, for radio management. We thank you, Father, for radio personnel. We thank you, Father, for uh, radio um, uh, 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 presidents, Father. We thank you, Father, for radio uh, secretaries, Father, we thank you, Father, for each and every one who, 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 uh, deals with, uh, the management, the production, the, uh, visionary of each and every radio stations, Father, Lord, Lord, we just also thank you, Father, for the finances, Father, to, to bless, uh, 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 the radio stations, Father, to keep the radio stations going, Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for, uh, the the finances from the north, south, east, and west, Father Lord, we thank you, Father, that you will raise up somebody somewhere to use their power, their ability, and oh, most of all, their influence to help each and every radio station that the RH3 show is on, that the RH3 show is uh, heard on, whether it be a podcast platform, Father Lord, whether it be a radio station, Father Lord, whether it be somebody who is listening to me on a podcast platform that they have, that the person who have a radio station, Father, or a podcast or whoever, internet radio station, whatever it is, Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for them, Father. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praises, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for the RH3 show brand that it will be uh, uh, heard and and uh, it will be a um, uh, someone who uh, will uh, speak the name of the RH3 show behind closed doors and uh, that you will uh, be moving on the behalf, Father, and that you will uh, continue to, uh, work on the behalf of me, Father, in closed doors and in the mouth of believers and in the mouth of a representative that will speak the name of the RH3 show in meetings and speak the name of RH3 show in production meetings of, uh, TV and radio executive meetings, Father. And Lord, we lift your name on high with glory and magnify your name because it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Y'all, it's time for an all new broadcast of the RS3 show. We got a jam packed show on today. Let's go ahead and talk. Let's give him something to talk about. Let's do it. Live from North Carolina, it's the RH3 show. I've been down, I've been covered out, I've been overlooked. Look, I do no, I do this for nobody but my cause. <laughs> my cause, God first, didn't my cause. I give it to you real raw, straight to the point, all from a Christian male perspective. <laughs> The RH3 show starts right now. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Hey, 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 hey. What's up, y'all? It is time for the all new bro. Listen, I'm pulling back my chair. <laughs> While I'm doing that, y'all do that. It's time for an all new broadcast of the Ice Three Show. It's time for a kitchen table talk. Let's do that. 
Hey, pull up a chair. Let's have a conversation. It's time for our kitchen table talk. Yes, it's time for a kitchen table talk. And y'all know this is where we have a great conversation, y'all. Have a great conversation. And we just talk, y'all. We just talk. 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 And so, y'all, listen, listen, listen. We're going to talk. We're just going to talk. Um, you all, we're going to have a great show on today. We're going to have a great show on today. And um, um, it's a big announcement on today. We're going to take an extended break, y'all. We're going to take an extended break. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And um, a lot of things is going to be happening, y'all. A lot of things is going to be happening. Um, I'm going to take an extended break. Because at the end of this month, um, um, uh, a lot of things is going to be happening in my life. Uh, um, 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 a lot of things going to be happening in my life. I will talk to you all about that when I return. Uh, my book is going to be on pre-order starting today. So if you will um, go to, well, I will be like, put it like this. I will make the announcement in video form on the RH3 show page. So if you will follow me on Instagram at the RH3 show and, um, well, you know what? On radio, I'll just say this. Go to T-L-A-M-O-G dot com. T-L-A-M-O-G dot com. T-L-A-M-O-G dot com. That's think like a man of God dot com. And um, put that in your bookmarks. Um, continue to. And then also um, uh, subscribe to the newsletter on that uh, website. And... Um, um, you will, um, you know, be able to pre-order then. And so, yeah, uh, think like a man of God and it's going to go on pre-order on today. Um, it is seven, uh, well, a full 30 days after my birthday. And so I want to do that. And, um, my best friend's birthday was yesterday, Justin's and then three days later, um, it is my best friend, uh, GW's birthday. And then, um, my son's birthday is on June 1st. And then, um, I pray that we be back by then. And then what you mean be back? I'll tell y'all that about, tell y'all about that in a few minutes. Um, 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 <sighs> whew. um, and then we're going to have a launch then. And then my surgery is going to be um, on June. A lot is going on, y'all. A lot is going on. And, and, and it's, and it's going to it's a big shift in move. It's going to be a big shift in move. And so God is doing a new thing in my life. And I made a big jump and move yesterday um, in regards to things in my life. And who... Who, y'all, and it just all in once, all in once. But this it, God is good. God is good, and and I, I hear the voice of the Lord. I hear the voice of the Lord, and God is good. Look, hey, my aunt taught me how to be a boss and to boss up and do boss type things, and that's what I'm gonna do: boss up and do boss type things. And so, hey, and so you know, whatever. And I, I I hear the voice of the Lord. And so, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. And so, uh, we're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. Um, and so, yeah, um, I'll make an announcement. Well, put it like this. I'll, I'll talk about when I'll make, and I won't make an, I won't make, when I say I'll make an announcement when we return, no, I will not. I'll make the announcement during, um, cause we're going to continue on uh, and I'll talk about that even that part in a minute, but, um, uh, I know I'm confusing y'all, but my book, 
we're gonna pre I mean, not pre. We're gonna pre order. We're gonna be in a pre order status starting today. So follow me on the RS3 show page on Instagram and on Twitter and on Facebook. And you know, I make a video post today or whenever I get back because my mom wants us to start celebrating her for Mother's Day today. Me, her, her friend, and my siblings, we're going out to dinner this evening and uh, whatever. And you know, of course, I'm a. Sh- I'm a <laughs> be out and then y'all might see my sister and, and Alan and uh you know my brother I hope he I think he's going to and um you know whatever and so um me and my oldest sister my mom's oldest daughter she lives in Mississippi so she's not going Lisa the one that was at the hospital she's not going to be able to make it because that's like a 15 plus hour drive and so she won't be able to make it and um, her and her children and her husband won't be able to make it, but us on the East Coast is going to be here and um, whatever. But, um, uh, yeah. But getting back to the confusion part, um, we're going to be on an extended break. And, um, but on the, uh, the, the station and, um, but the R2 show is going to continue on, uh, part time being that, you know, part time, part time. We're going our schedule's still going to be Monday well throughout the week, but we're gonna, you know, be doing that part time Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um at one PM and so just continue to listen. Continue to listen. Um Monday, Wednesday and Friday and you know, m- we may miss it. We may miss it or whatever, but still keep it going. And so, of course, we're going to be on Monday, um, you know, uploaded at one o'clock or whatever. And so just just take a listen. And so, you know, hey, um, and we're going to be back, you know, extended on radio very soon. And so, hey, just keep it where you got it. You know, of course. Yeah, if you got an eye, if you, whatever your favorite, um, podcast platform is, it is, make sure you tune into the RS3 show on that. And so, yeah. And, um, um, I will, you know, be on there and then we'll make, uh, you know, whatever announcement that we have, um, you know, on there as well. And I'll make that major announcement too, because, um, I made a decision on yesterday and, you know, hey. God is good, you know, all is well, no love, love, all is good, you know, hey, it's it's just good, you know, you know, hey, whatever, you know, it's all is well, and all will be well, all right, all right, that is that, and so, you know, hey, that is that, Keep it where you got it. More of the RS3 show is coming up next. We got a great show planned for you on today. We got a great, when I say, tell y'all, look, we're going to rock it out on today. All right. Keep it where you got it. More of the RS3 show is coming up next. I love you all for real. I hope y'all know that. I hope you all know that. More of the RS3 show is coming up next. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Rufus, your boy, Red, host of the RH3 Show. And I want to get on here to encourage you all. Uh, during this time of stay at home, during this time of quarantine, during this time of isolation, uh, during this pandemic, or whatever situation that you may be going through, know that God will see you through. Know that God will see you through. And how can you get through this, you may ask. You may just sit and pondering and wondering, what can I do to get through this? Love everybody. Love each other. Love God and love yourself and love other people beyond words. That's all it is. And also, most important, listen to your leaders. Listen to your leaders. The Bible does say about listening to the voice and the instruction of your leaders. But also to inject that, listening to the leaders. Also listen to the Holy Spirit. Have discernment as well. So, hey, listen to them. Stay home. Stay close with your family. All right? Learn and build with your family. Whenever you're at home with your family, look, have fun with them. Play games. Play board games. Learn each other. Love each other. And hey, be there for them, right? 
stay home. Use it as family time. Use it as growth and uh, study in the word and, and watch TV and, and make this an enjoyable time for you all. Because they always say that a, a strong family builds a strong community and a strong community builds a strong city, state, nation, and world. You get what I'm saying? I, I, this is your boy Red, host of the Arch 3 Show. For more about the broadcast and the times that I do come on, you can visit my website at therh3show.com. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps that people like to listen to? And how do I make money from my podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is so very easy and simple. It is Anchor, y'all. It's Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it is 100% and ridiculously easy to use Most of all, it is free. And now, y'all, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad here. I use Anchor for my radio broadcast as another branch to advertise and promote my episodes and my show that stems right from YouTube. And what I like about Anchor is that it distributes all to many platforms as well as it has an in-depth statistics to where you can see how your podcast is doing. That's cool, right? I love it. So if you always wanted to start your podcast and make money doing it, please go to anchor.fm forward slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters who are already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm forward slash start. My name is Red and I'm the host of the RH3 show. I cannot wait to hear your podcast.
to catch up on the news regarding politics or if you want to know news about the TV, movies, sports, and or the music industry, be it if it's in gospel or any other entertainment genre, then well, it is time for the Inside Scoop of the Rufus right here on the RH3 Show. Hi everybody, I'm Nina Taylor and here is your Gospel News. Born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, worship leader, producer, multi-instrumentalist, and soulful contemporary singer, songwriter, pastor, Jason Nelson. He released his debut album, I Shall Live, in 2005, the self-released Brand New Day in 2006, and was followed by 2008's Place of Worship, a deal with the popular gospel label Verity a division of Sony, known for his albums Shifting the Atmosphere and Jesus Revealed, both of which charted in the Billboard Top 200, he became pastor of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Church in 2007. His father was the reverend of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Church from 1977 to 2007. He's also a songwriter and contributed to some of the songs on Marvin Sapp's album Thirsty. Deborah Joy Winans, stage and screen actress, most well known for bringing to life the character Charity Greenleaf Satterley on the OWN Network series Greenleaf. She's also been playing her aunt Cece Winans in the Lifetime biopic Whitney. Before fame, she was earning her BFA from Wayne State University. She would later complete her MFA in acting at California Institute of the Arts. She made her stage debut in the musical Born for This, the B.B. Winans story. Her parents are Carvin and Deborah Carr Winans. In Greenleaf, she stars opposite Merle Dandridge, Desiree Ross, and Lehman Rucker. This May, we salute African-American authors and their contributions to American literature. This week, pioneering African-American writer Richard Wright. He's best known for the classic text, Black Boy and Native Son. Who was Richard Wright? He was an African-American writer and poet who published his first short story at the age of 16. Later, he found employment with the Federal Writers Project and received critical acclaim for his writing Uncle Tom's Children, a collection of four stories. Stories. He's well known for his 1940 bestseller, Native Son, and 1945, the autobiography, Black Boy. Richard Nathaniel Wright was born September 4th, 1908 in Roxy, Mississippi, the grandson of slaves and the son of a sharecropper. Wright was raised by his mother. He was schooled in Jackson, Mississippi and managed to get a ninth grade education, but he was an avid reader and showed early on that he had a way with words. When he was 16, a short story of his was published in a Southern African American newspaper. After leaving school, Wright worked a series of odd jobs, and in his free time, he delved into American literature. To pursue his literary interests, he longed to see it make a permanent break from the Jim Crow South. In 1927, Wright finally left the South and moved to Chicago, where he worked for the post office and swept streets. Like so many Americans struggling through the Depression, Wright I fell prey to bouts of poverty. Along the way, his frustration with American capitalism led him to join the Communist Party in 1932. When he could, Wright continued to plow through books and write. He eventually joined the Federal Writers Project in 1937. With dreams of making it as a writer, he moved to New York City, where he was told he stood a better chance of getting published. More acclaim for Richard Wright followed in 1940 with the publication of the novel Native Son, which told the story of a 20-year-old African-American man named Bigger Thomas. This book brought Wright fame and freedom to write. It was a regular atop the bestseller list and became the first book by an African-American writer to be selected by the Book of the Month Club. A stage version written by Wright and Paul Green followed in 1941 and Wright later played the title role in the film version made in Argentina. Here's this week's top 10 gospel songs. Number 10, Byron Poppin featuring Tasha with Beautiful Savior. Number 9, Brian Courtney Wilson, Steel. 8, Corinne Hawthorne, Speak to Me. 7, Travis Green featuring Doe, Good and Loved. 6, Pastor Mike Jr., I Got It. 5, The Clark Sisters featuring Snoop Dogg, His Love. 4, Tasha Cobbs Leonard, In Spite of Me. 3, CeCe Winans, Never Lost. 
to Jokia, Yahweh, and our new number one song for this week comes from Ohio Zone, Mia Allen with Wait. Well, that's your top 10 gospel songs, our tribute to African American writers, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor, reminding you to connect with me on all social media outlets. You can find all my outlets on my website at msninataylor.com. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. This is Real Life. We show real love and we also have real conversations, all from a Christian male perspective. It's the Real Talk with Rufus right here on the RH3 show. We're talking about love. What is love? It's, it's many definition and and different profession you guys different profession they talk and they discuss and they have different opinions and, dis- and and definitions of the word love and I can go ahead and give you some of them like a uh, physicist would say love is a chemistry love is chemistry a psychotherapist would say love has many guises meaning uh, one or several different uh, ways in which something is seen experienced or produced a philosopher may say love is a uh, passionate commitment um, a romantic novelist may say love drives all great story and the nun would say that love is free but yet it binds us and if I was to agree with one of these professions one of these um, you know one of these um, um, you know career holders w- one thing I would say I would agree with is uh, I would agree with two of them the philosopher would saying love is a passionate commitment as well as a nun love is free yet it binds us together and no matter if it's a friendship if i love my friend it binds us together with the friendship if i love my spouse my wife it you know binds us together you know in marriage in in love and commitment if i love you know my mother it it binds us together as mother and son and and you know Titles do not mean anything, but it's the feeling. Okay, that's an email. It's a feeling behind. Um, um, it's a feeling behind everything else. So you know, whether you know it or not, you guys. And some people may differ with everything else. And like I always say on my real talk with red videos, um, you're getting an honest and unscripted opinion from. A Christian male perspective and you know you know and I would and I would totally agree that love is an action love is an action and you know you know with the the definition or the title of this broadcast and um, what I will say is that love is an action love is an action and like I said that's my opinion but what you know if someone to ask the question, "What is love? What is love, and how um, how to know if we love someone?" and the answer is just is is basically straightforward. And when we be, behave a certain way to someone without you know emitting any evilness or emitting even any um, hatred to someone. You know, that's, you know, that's when we, you know, know that, you know, we love somebody. I mean, um, you can tell how you react between, you know, between a person that you don't know and a person that you know. You know, I mean, if we hang out with our boys and if we hang out with our, you know, girls, if you hang out with your girlfriends and home, you know, homegirls or whatever, um... And you know you 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 oh I gotta call her oh I gotta do this oh I gotta do that I gotta let her know this I gotta let her know this I gotta get up on this I'm gonna invite her here that's basically showing showing you know love and and I'll get into the definitions of love because some people and I cannot stand when someone says love you much love I mean who love you what does that mean who loves me 
that that's just a you know a basic open spot in the beginning of love blank love you i mean love you who loves you do you love me do the dog love me do the per, what i mean we have to get out of our comfort zone when it comes to showing expression showing you know feelings to other people and you know i'm i will freely tell someone that i love them freely tell and if i mean it let me say that if i mean it and only because i know definitions of love and some people may not know that there are definitions of love and um you know hey that's what your boy read here that's what your boy read is here for um to give you and to show you and to tell you the definitions of love you guys i cannot find my glasses but anyway they're not on this desk but anyway let's go ahead um you know to actually know what the word love is and you know in to um in order for love to be real i mean it's it's various definitions and various feelings and meanings and you know and i'll give um some you know some some the, the people question not the people question but some of the the people's responses of what uh you know love is in a few minutes but um in order for love to be real, it has to be expressed as an action, and that's my opinion. Whether it's verbally said, um, you know, it has to be expressed in an action. Okay, I may say that I love you, but how do you know if that's real? How can you tell? Spending time, that's an action. Um... Doing things, you know, getting physical. Um, <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> Some people may say that. <laughs> Some people may say that is a way of showing love, but getting physical is not a way of showing love. You know that that it, it, nowadays is not. Nowadays is not because people just get that thing out freely, and is is. people just don't know the power of it but anyway anyway but by what i meant to say was buying material things you know that can be another expression and not even that you know another real true definition of love is time spending time you know whether it, it, it with nothing involved any physical any um material items um any monetary items none of that but if with to me to me if someone spends time with me then i know that they love me that's 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 what i think that you know and and i'll say this again and i think i've said it in the past but even in my previous relationship my time spent with her and her children was there but her time spent with me I didn't see that much and you know once I didn't see that much then the feelings start diminishing and it was just like okay what are we doing here it has to be cut off but you know silly me in my dumb days that happened twice w- with the same person and the second time I was like you know what this is not going to happen no third time it's about to be done with but anyway um, you know it has to be expressed it has to be expressed and the Hebrew word for love is ahava and it, and it reveals the true definition of love for the word ahava is built upon um, you know the root the root the root consonants which is um h and v and which means to give so in order to for love to be real it has to be expressed in an action where there is um like i said you know where there is time you must show something you must say 
you know, let me take, I say, you must show something. And, and that's, you know, as I'm going through this, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, that whole, you have to do something and you have to show whether you're doing it or not. Showing, you know, your love is, is all you know, combined into doing, you know, doing whatever, whether it's going over there, you're doing something, you're going there. So you're doing that. Um, you taking him or her to the park. That's time. That's doing something. That's showing something, you know, it has, it showing love does not mean showing a gift does not mean showing money. It's doing something that you have not done in the past or, you know, if I don't, if, if, okay, say for instance, if I'm, you know, I'm dating this female or whatever, and, you know, we talk and I meet her, or whatever, a few months has passed, and I have not vi- physically saw her, then what does she has to look for in the relationship? Nothing, because she had done, she do not see me. That's why you have to, and, and it goes back again with my opinion, you have to be very careful when it comes to long distance relationship because you know whether well let me take that back because nowadays we're in the age of technology and you can video uh you can skype you can do uh periscope you can you know um do tango or whatever you can video chat you can do um i don't know what the crazed uh, Apple fan call it, but um, you can go on your iChat I and, and do all of that, so, you know, nowadays, it may work, but back then, you know, growing up in my teenage years, and you know, my young adult years, dating somebody, you know, long distance, really did not really work, because what, a, I mean, I can hear you all day, but I need to see you and I need to, you know, we need to, you know, have, you know, contact to where we're going out on dates or whatever. And I need to show you that I love you instead of me telling you. I hope y'all get it. If you get it, hash, uh, 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 tweet me on Twitter or Facebook on the uh, show page, the RS, facebook.com forward slash the RS3 show. And, 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 you know, chime in on this discussion. Use hashtag RH3 or you can just use, um, you know, you can just tweet me and use the hashtag the RH3 show. That, that's what you can do. Tweet me and use the hashtag the RH3 show. But anyway, um, you know... It, it has to be shown. It has to be shown. And uh, I'm going to say this and then I'm, we're going to go into a break here. Um, God teaches us how to love and um, God commands us, you know, to do that in Deuteronomy 6 and 5, which it says, um, and you shall love the Lord your God. And um, this this here leaves us the voice of an old age question, which says, how can we be commanded to feel a feeling? Either you feel it or you don't. Is that right? You know, I mean, either you feel it or you don't. I mean, you know, <laughs> either you feel the love or you don't. And if you don't feel it, then then hey, <laughs> I it, this sounds very harsh, but if I don't feel it, I don't love you. I mean, you know, hey, we're gonna take a break, and I'll be right back with you. This is the RS Three Show, and when I come back, we're gonna get into the seven definitions, the seven meanings of. Love. We're going to tackle the first three and then we're going to come back and um, do the next three. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'll see y'all in a bit. Did you catch this flashback of the Arch 3 show? So check out this best of moment with relationship expert, author of hashtag men question mark, the Ten Commandments. It is the Arch 3 show and Tycho. Um, I'm an advocate of this, but while dating, should women and men date um, multiples, meaning, you know, not really being in a relationship, but date? If so, how should they lay it out on the line to others that uh, they are dating? Well, I think it, it's very important if you're not inside of a committed relationship and you are exploring your options, so to speak, as mm-hmm. far as dating people to get an understanding of what it is that 
you want. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is important to date more than one person at one time. Mm -hmm. So for a couple of reasons, mm -hmm. especially for women, more so, especially for women, because A, it it keeps your options open until you're ready to settle down mm -hmm. with that one special person. It's the RS3 Show. You guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Insert. Welcome back, Carter. But anyway, we're going to get into the rest of these uh, definite, well, get into the definitions of love. If you're just now tuning into the RC show, we're talking about love. What is love? But um, we're just going to talk about it because, you know, some people need a uh, reminder on what is love and who love is and how to show love and you know whatever so um this will be on the website for you to view on later so i got i gotta matter of fact i gotta jump on that anyway but anyway um i got a few uh viewer responses of not really viewer responses but uh, from a people poll question of what is love what is your definition of love and i got um a good many so I, I i can go ahead and go ahead and share and like i said if you're listening to the show go ahead and tweet me at uh inside mr arch three preferably and use the hashtag the arch three show on twitter on twitter but uh we're going to get into some of the uh the responses on what i um you know the question that i asked what is love tiffany jersey writes my definition of of the word love is the ongoing acts of selfishness with reassurance of stability i totally agree totally 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 agree and i agree with most of this and um um if y'all watch youtube any youtube videos um you probably come across this next one, uh, Nina. Much love from Kentucky. Much love from KY. Much love from Nina. This is my sister from another mister. But anyway, um, she writes, uh, it's not that S you see on TV. It's real as it gets. Nina is real raw and I give it to you straight no chaser and that right there is Nina all the way but and I agree with her it's not what you see on TV it really it it, it, it really not it, it's it's not but um um from uh I don't know I think her name is Jewel or Jewel I think it's Jewel but Jewel Freeman that says love is looking onto the mate's eyes and knowing all you have been through um you know together and it has been worth it that's true as well that's true as well and um mara she writes uh mutual respect and someone to lean on in tough times and um if i run out of time today and if i'm having to you know go back into this topic on thursday you know feel free to uh, you know, send your questions and send your your comments or whatever on love to askrh3 at gmail dot com. But anyway, uh, I'll get to some more. Um, um, I get to some more comments and some more uh, people uh, answers in uh, just a few. So sit back and hold on tight. It is the RH3 show. I'll be back with you all in a few. Sometimes you get a pre-show, sometimes you get an after-show, but you do get behind the scenes of the RH3 show, and sometimes I may give you transparency and let you follow me. I am a personal life. Follow me on Instagram at the RH3 show. I check my stories out. Check my page out. Follow me today. Okay, you guys, we are back. We're back, we're back, we're back. We only got 10 minutes left of the show, so let me get into these, uh, um, these, these next viewer, um, 
uh, responses to my question, what is love? My friend Karen, whole soul, dedication, and unselfish, true. Okay, and then uh, Mary Vella says, love is supporting each other no matter what. A friend of mine, Brandon, says, uh, love is when someone annoys you, but you want to be with them anyway because how hot they look. Smile. <laughs> that is so funny. But anyway, he said, just kidding. Love is putting someone happiness above your own. It is not com- uh, it's not feeling complete when they are not around it's feeling complete it's not feeling complete when they're not around meaning they're you're not not feeling whole but anyway annette says love is when you find that one person who you would do anything for to make sure that they are okay and they do the same for you also smile but um um, and Aisha Hodge says, love is a commitment to always have good intentions towards someone and to always put their best interests first. <laughs> Want to connect with me and go beyond the broadcast? Do so by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Arts 3 Show. You can also watch us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior that's youtube.com forward slash I R E P A S A V I O R follow me on social media hi it's the RH3 show connect the RH3 show for more about the broadcast please visit the RH3show.com we're going to get into the six uh, topics, uh, the six, you know, definition of love. First one is euros, and that's a sexual passion, uh, you know, based on sex and powerful magnet, mag, n- magnetism. It's the one uh, which can get us into the most trouble. So, 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 so true. So true. But um, it can uh, also turn into other kinds of love like pragma, and I'll talk about that. But it starts as romance and attraction and um you know these are in no particular order and um it was euros was named after the greek god of fertility and it represents the idea of sexual passion and desire number two um is philia and that is a deep friendship and philia is the love we feel for people we strive to um achieve a shared goal our co-workers the player on the football team or uh, basketball team whatever the soldiers in our army school um friends or whatever that is a friendship type love so when you tell somebody that you're good friends with you know you have to have a mutual um connection to be friends with someone so you know of course you know this is you know the the shared goal but um this is the type of love that you will show this type of person um if you're you know some church members you know you can show that and another one and i'll talk about that in in a, in a little bit but um our next one number three and like i said these are in no particular order um ludus and it is a playful type of love and um i uh hope they're okay with me using this but um it, I'll say I'll use that in a minute. The feelings that we have when we test out what might be like to be in love with someone, the fluttering heart and feelings of euphoria, the slight dangerous sensation. And I hope they like I said, I hope they're okay with me using this, but um um I, and this is what I got from when they was talking about how they met, but um two YouTubers which the, the I think the main host is is Lev, but Lev and Marcy of um um, 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 our new normal 38, um, on YouTube, check them out. But they, Marcy was talking about how, you know, she was feeling whenever she, you know, met, met Lev and, you know, wanted to know if, you know, that she had feelings for her, for him. And, um, this is, you know, she was like, am, you know, do I have feelings for him or do I not? Do I want to talk to him or not? Whatever, you know, go back and check out their video of how they met or whatever. And, you know, you can, and that's what I pulled from that. So, you know, the playful type love is, you know, this, whenever we test out what might be, what might not be. But um, number four is agape love. And this is the, uh, or love for everyone. And the kind of love which makes us sorrowful when we hear of a crisis of another nation or, you know, town or, you know, of somebody else. And this, um, that makes us give our time money and you know to charity to the people you know 
flowers to somebody's home going service um you know whatever this makes us feel connected to the people we don't know or simply on the basis of sharing experiences as human beings or sharing um our care and concern this is that agape love agape and um and you don't have to be, you know, saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost, feel fire, baptized, got Jesus on your side, running for your life to show this type of love. And people mostly use this love in church. So, um, you know, that's that God kind of love. And, and, you know, if people don't know, but that, that's, 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 that's a powerful type of love. Number five. Um, make sure that's number five yes number five is pragma or a long standing type love and the love between a this is a love between a married couple which develops over a long period of time and the love which um, endures sickness and in hell and this is the love that makes a friend care for a former school friend who has become vulnerable later in life and um you know even if you know this is not no sexual type love but this is a love that lasts long so this is also can be a friendship type love because you know if you know somebody say that this has been my friend since kindergarten that's the type of you know that's the type of love that's a long lasting love number six is um fellatia no <laughs> <laughs> that is not how to pronounce that word and if you know you know let me get my mind out of the gutter but anyway it's pronounced p-h-i-l-a-u-t-i-a and this is <laughs> this is the love of the self y'all forgive me for that and hashtag the arts through show hashtag wim wpop radio on twitter and also on facebook if you caught that mess but anyway this is the love we give ourselves is not the vanity or narcissism but our joy of being true to our own values true to our own self true to people true to our own um you know person or whatever and the strength to care for ourselves that we can turn into care for others um and lastly, storage, and that's the family love. And that's the love a parent has for a child or a child has for their favorite aunt or uncle. The love a foster parent feels for their children in the in her care and the love of a grandparent feels for the child or adopted son, whatever. You get the picture. Um, I hope y'all, um, you know, uh, <sighs> at least grasp on to different types of love you know that i talked about i'll be back in a few i'll see y'all in a minute y'all i'm still torn up about that i'll be back Hey y'all, that's all the time that we have for you. Know that I love you for real and always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and to love God, love yourself, and love other people. Love other people. Oh yes, love other people. Beyond words. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit our website at thearch3show.com. Listen, listen, thearch3show.com, and also follow me. Listen, follow me on all social media platforms, every last one of them. Just pick one. Pick one. iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Radio Public. Uh, Listen, either one. But I'll see you all on Monday at 1 o'clock on one of them. All right? We celebrating my boy, (laughs) GW. Come on. Point blank, period. I'll see you all on one of them. Follow me. We're going to be point. We're going to be front. And, sorry, hit the mic front and center. I see you all on Monday. Bright and early. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the podcast platforms. Join me. But uh, we'll be back on radio soon and very soon. And I'll let y'all know that soon and very soon, too. I right? listen. Praise him cause he calls you to switch. Go ahead. Cause you know I gotta give it up if anybody want. Listen, stay tuned and continue to follow us on social media. All right? Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Arts 3 Show. Gonna continue to do after shows, after the mic, whatever it is. All right? 
And also on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. I R E P A S A V I O R. I'll see you all soon. Peace. To the new man, we made it from the old man into the new man. We made a new, new, and it's up, up, on. Cause we've been given a new life. We're living in two Christ in our sins. Thank God that he heed the need to make us free indeed. Now the world was what, 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 what. So now, so giving him his praise. I think it would take dead, but I'm not there for trying, trying, trying. And the redeemed say so. Remade it as him and to fulfill God's way. So we can stand tall and we will not sway. So the non believers can look at our lives and take notes. Yeah, cause we're the word redeemed, Joe. Wait. I know what he's done for me, so I can get up and praise him to a world redeemed choke. I know I gotta raise the ground, raise the ground, they call me to switch for the day. Cause I know I gotta give it up if anybody's gonna go praise the Lord. That's from sin of the saint As winners we can't Live by the picture they paint Because they know that all the inner retain So we must live out our lives With a sense of restraint Which means do I live and we ain't But you're controlled by the flesh We're depicted in sway And pray without a quitter's complaint And being able to turn down your dinner at eight Because the price that he paid for me Gave to me my freedom So I'm not in slavery Christ made a way for me Grace we didn't pay for me Your way back to God Through the life that he gave for me It made me able to switch Our lives were in darkness Then he came with a switch we used to talk like we used to call us for honor and he'll do it for you too. Yeah, I know I gotta raise it now, raise it because he called me to switch. Go ahead, cause I know I gotta give it up. If anybody wanna come, raise it.